All right, so I'm gonna have set up my MP10 Vortec. I'll be doing step by step so you guys can see. So step number one is choose my pump location. It'll be going right around here. So there it says where the pump output is unobstructed, high enough above the sand bed so sand is not disturbed, sufficiently below the surface so air is not sucked into a vortex. Uh, step two, prepare aquarium. Use an aquarium scraper to clean the inside surface of the aquarium and a damp cloth to clean the outside. Use caution when handling an aquarium scraper. Attach mounting tab. Peel backing from the adhesive and place the tab two to three inches from the desired mounting location on the outside of the aquarium. Place dry side on aquarium. Place the rubber piece or rubber spacer directly on the wall of the aquarium at the desired location. The included rubber spacer must be used between the dry side and the aquarium wall for thickness of 1 8th of an inch and 3 16th of an inch. The rubber spacer is not needed for thickness of 1 quarter of an inch or 3 8ths of an inch. Position the dry side so the cord points straight up in the 12 o'clock position. Tie the cord to the mounting tab using a zip tie. Trim the excess end of the zip tie. So I will be using the rubber spacer. My glass is not 3 16ths of an inch, or actually I mean my glass isn't larger than 3 16ths. It's within that range. Attach wet side. Place the wet side into the aquarium and allow all air to escape from the propeller housing. Carefully align the wet and dry sides through the glass. Optional. Place the foam guard over the wet side of the pump. The foam guard can be used to ensure that delicate marine animals do not get caught in the nozzle. Line pump. Plug the power supply into the driver if the pump is not already in constant speed mode. Press the mode button until the control dial is green. If there is vibration or excessive noise, carefully adjust the propeller housing wet side by moving it very slightly left, right, up, or down until the noise vibration is eliminated or minimized. Rotate the control dial clockwise and set it to the maximum speed indicated by the blue LEDs. Press the mode button to select the mode of your choice and then turn the control dial to the desired flow rate. Settings.
I'll be using probably the Laguna random mode or the reef crest mode. I'll be choosing one of those, but it looks like it'll probably go with Laguna random mode. And that's the MP10. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.